Leads about missing baby Lisa Irwin are pouring into the tips hotline. Uh, it was three weeks ago tonight that the 11 month old baby disappeared from her crib. Actually, last night, in the middle of the night, Jake Peterson is live outside the house where the family has been staying with relatives. Uh, Jake. Well, hey there, Krista. Investigators uh, say even after hundreds of tips, they still have no suspects in this case. They do appreciate the tips, but many of them are just dead ends, they say. Some of the tips have even come from overseas. This baby girl has captivated the nation and by some accounts, the world. We have gotten London, England. We've gotten Barbados, Mexico, Canada. TIPS Hotline Director Detective Kevin Bain says the phone hasn't stopped ringing since Lisa disappeared. They staff the hotline 24 hours a day. If it were a voicemail, uh, they are likely not to, re to leave the tip, or if they do leave the tip, there was uh, a high probability that they may leave out some information. Investigators look at every lead, but a majority of them are quickly dismissed. What we're really looking for is specific information regarding Lisa's whereabouts and or specific suspect information that people can provide a name, a license plate number, uh, something that specifically can be followed up on. The trail for tips even led to Deborah Bradley's estranged husband, Sean. The two had a son together five years ago. Sean Bradley, an Army reservist, says he hasn't seen Deborah or their son in two years, but he'd like to. He told NBC News that I'm concerned about him and I want to make sure he is safe. I miss him and I would love to have him back. Bradley says the FBI interviewed him about Lisa, but he didn't know anything about the case. He says I'm confused by what's going on. This is craziness to me, but that confusion could end with one call to this hotline. And the media spotlight continues to grow in this case. I spoke to a reporter today who is with a Japan television network. Remember, there was also a $100,000 reward for any information about the whereabouts of Lisa Irwin. We're live here in Kansas City. Jake Peterson, NBC Action.